You know, Washington State is trying something new today. Pot shops opening for business this morning, two years after the sale of marijuana was legalized in that state. And ABC's Neil Karlinski is inside one of those stores in Seattle. Good morning, Neil. George, good morning. This store is called Cannabis City, and later today this will be the first place in Seattle to legally sell marijuana. You can see in the showcases here they've got the pipes, the bongs out. The marijuana hasn't arrived yet, but later today it will be in these showcases for what is bound to be an interesting day. Today, in the home of the Super Bowl champs, everyone's talking about another kind of bowl, legal pot. This grandmother of three and competitive runner showing up to be first in line a full 24 hours early. I never thought I'd see it in my lifetime, and to be able to vote for it and to be able to enjoy it legally um, was just, just an awesome Thing in my life. Remember, this isn't medicinal marijuana. The land of Starbucks now officially with another high-priced habit for sale to anyone over 21. This is so exciting. It's just like being a pioneer. I came out of retirement to do this, and it's the best thing I've ever done. It turns out voting for legal marijuana is easier than enacting it. Legalize! While two dozen stores will open in Washington, of all the applications to set up in Seattle, so far only one has been approved, Cannabis City, where they expect attendance to be, pardon the cliche, high. So we anticipate for 10,000. Hope to goodness we won't get that much because we don't have that much product. You really think you're going to have 10,000 people here? Hopefully tomorrow? not, but legally we have to anticipate for it. They expect a shortage too, since less than 100 of the 2,600 people who apply to be pot growers have been approved. There just isn't a lot of legal marijuana available. Regardless, there will be celebrations today. They won't be sleepless in Seattle, but they might be sleepy. Stores can open for the first time in history at 8 a.m., though to quote the owner here, they will open today at high noon. George? Oh, you knew that was coming. Oh. Okay, Neil, thank you. He couldn't resist that.